that they made the right choice by electing you as their women representative here in Kisi. They made the right choice. You're a woman, you're working hard. Just to say it, this is our first event of the mentorship program by Kewopa. And we picked Kisi <laughs> County by a lot of persuasion from Honorable Donya. And that is why we are here today. And thank you for setting the bar so high. And thank you for showing us the way. I know that this will be the beginning of very many be beautiful beginnings for mentorship programs for girls across the country. And thank you for setting the bar high. And thank you for showing the way. Thank you, Honorable Donya. I also want to appreciate the members of Parliament present here. I know how busy their schedules can be. But I want to appreciate that you found time to come to this auspicious occasion of mentoring our girls. We know that the societal fabric was somehow breaking. And these women parliamentarians have decided to take it upon themselves to make sure that they mend this fabric by mentoring our young people, not only the girls, but we also want to mentor the boy child because we want an inclusive society where boys and girls respect the rule of nature and respect each other so that we can have a successful society of our empowered both boys and girls. Uh, the next time that we will be in Kisi, we will make sure that we visit some boys' schools because we also want to talk to them. The things about girls and women empowerment is not only a conversation about women and girls, it's a collective conversation of men, women, boys, women, boys and girls, and all actors across the board so that we can see meaningful change. When we talk to these girls without talking to our boys, it means that we're still creating a gap and it means that we're still not being able to achieve our goal. So we will deliberately be speaking to both boys and girls because they are all our children and we want to mend this fabric together. I will not take much of your time. Today we are here on a transformative mentorship program on matters menstrual hygiene, which my colleagues have really spoken about, on matters preg early pregnancy, on matters FGM, and on matters HIV and AIDS among school going, school -going girls. Uh, these things have been advised by the current statistics in our country, which were actually shared by Senator Muma. And we want to say that as the women of Kenya, we want now to be focused on these things. I know we all come from different political divide. We have members of parliament from ODM. We have members of parliament from the ruling party like myself. But we have decided to forge a way forward for the children of the Republic of Kenya and for the women of Kenya as members of parliament elected in different divides so we can be able to address the issues affecting our girls, the issues affecting our boys, and the issues affecting our women and our people in general. And so here today, we have come to encourage these girls. Mimi nataka kuambia hawa wasjana. Wakiangalia hawa wa mama ambao wamekuwa hapa mbeleni ni wa mama wa rembo sana, wazuri sana na kwa wakati mmoja wamekuwa wasichana wa shule kama nyinyi. Na wengi wao ni wale ambao jinsi vile tulivyoambiwa na mheshimiwa wa Mayaka they decided to cross their legs and open their books. If you want to make meaningful change in your life, you have to make deliberate decisions today to cross your legs, to open your books, and to focus. I want also to talk about time. Time is of essence, and time is a special gift from God. And if you don't manage your time well, time will catch up with you. So before time catches up with you, you must make sure that you are the master of your time. Sasa hapa muko shuleni kwa miaka minne peke yake. Kuna wale ambao sasa wamebakisha mwaka moja, kuna wale watamaliza huu mwaka, kuna wale wako na miaka miwili ama mitatu hapa shuleni. Mimi nataka kuwaambia kwamba miaka ya high school ni miaka ya kuamua wewe utakuwa nani katika maisha. Ukitaka kwenda mbele, 
this is your time to transform, to focus, and to work towards your goals. Na huu ni wakati pia mkubwa ambao wasichana wanajipoteza, watu wachanga wanajipoteza shuleni. You create caucuses and alliances and friendships that goes nowhere. Mimi nataka kukuambia wale wasichana tulio soma na wao high school na najua pia ni hivo hivo kwa hawa. Pengine 1% of them is the ones that you'll meet in life. The rest of them you don't know where they go. And so I want to tell you, the best friend that you can create in school is your book. Or a girl that has the same vision as you. Iwe wakati mwingi unatumia shuleni ni wakutengeneza kesho yako. Mimi nataka kuwaomba nyinyi wasichana. Wakati huu Mungu amewapatia nafasi mkuje hapa shuleni msome make a deliberate decision today jipeleke kwa kamkutano kidogo tu jiulize mimi ni nani na nataka kuwa nini